This is Star Wars The Vintage Collection, Daute Dauphine, or Daute Dauphine, I, I don't really know. Um, he is part of Wave 1 of the 2012 Vintage Collection, he is number VC82. I really, really like this figure. I've been doing all my favorite figures from the Wave first. He might be my absolute favorite one from the figure, which is weird because he's just got such a, just a, you know, he's not a very cool character. He's just a pilot. He's like a banker or something. But I mean, the sculpt on him, on him, is is brilliant. And just the mixture of his soft goods and and sculpted, sculpted outfit, it's it's really nice. He really is a dynamite sculpt. Uh, let me show you the packaging before you get into him. There we go. Finished collection packaging with the retro style look. I really like this image of him here. I mean, I remember this guy mostly from Phantom Menace and, you know, have you ever dealt with what you did before? Oh, nothing can stop the right the cows. You know, <laughs> the weird moving lips. Um, and here's the back of it. They kind of updated the, uh, well, I guess, down dated, made it look more retro like it actually did in the 70s and 80s in the back. So that's kind of cool. Alright, he comes with a blaster, which is weird, this is just, I mean, a battle droid blaster, it looks like. So I guess, I guess if he were to have a blaster, it would be a battle droid blaster, since, you know, they're in charge of that army, or, or involved with that army. He's got this little conehead hat that he wears. <clears throat> he looks good without it and with it on, so I tend to leave, leave him without the blaster, because he just doesn't, he just doesn't need it. This is Hasbro's way of a little adding a little bit more value to the toy, but I don't think it adds anything. If you want to add better value, give him ball hinged hips. But on to the figure. He is nice, like I said. He's probably my favorite one in the wave. Um, he's got a great sculpt, and I will show you a closer look of that now. We'll start with his head. This little hat. It's got a really nice head sculpt. I, I, I like the shape of it. I, I, I like all the texture inside. I like this little loopy thing he's got going on the side of his head. Real nice texture. I mean, even the parts that look kind of... I think you would look kind of bare. You can't really see it on the camera, but it's just got so much texture in that skull, in, in, in the skin. His face is, is amazing, you know, his little eyebrow type things are really nice. And the paint in there, he's got this light bluish green flesh. And then he has this, ni all that that like yellowish greenish paint over the texture in his face. Look at that face, his nose and his lips and his chin and his cheeks are all really fine. I mean, the the detail right in his nose, it's it's so fine, it's so minuscule, but... I mean, they nailed it, and his eyes are really nice, too. I like how they did the squiggly line. I mean, it, those squiggles are perfect squiggles, too. I mean, they're not screwed up at all. So, now, the best part, like I said, is his robe and uh, soft goods combination. I wish they would do more like this. I, I really like it, because I really like the look of a sculpted, of sculpted clothing, but, and then the tunic part, I, I usually don't like the soft goods tunic because they just don't fall right, but, but but man, they nailed it on this case. So it is removable. Take off his head, and then you can move this thing off. The detail on this is so nice. A lot of texture in that clothing. It looks like a really heavy, velvety robe. The paint in it is nice too. It's it's not glossy. It's like a satiny finish, but I mean it, I mean they 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 use the best paint they could for, for, for this piece of clothing. They really nailed it. I like all the texture and the actual collar and, and trimmings on it right there. It's really nice. And then underneath, let me pop his head back on. Underneath the sculpted part on his body here, lots of really nice texture in that. It's got all the folds and waves, but even just the part that's supposed to be cloth, I mean, it's got all those little different clothing lines in it. Oh, it's so nice. The paint on there is nice too. It's just a nice satiny finish, like before. It's, I mean, there's not much detail in the paint, but you don't really need it because just the sculpt, you know, speaks volumes. So then you got the outer, the outer bits, like the arm. This is, I guess, it's kind of sewn into the sculpt. 
So you're never going to lose that. And the, the way that they did it to make it tight up on his arm and then kind of flow out or bell out as it goes down, I mean, that is some good design right there. I mean, because they, they nailed it. His arms underneath even have good texture and detail. I mean, they could have just left those kind of, you know, black, kind of just standard without any texture, but, I mean, they went for it. All around, this guy is, the detail on his sculpt is amazing. I really like his hands, too. Real nice and bony and kind of, you know, weird alien looking. And then his bottom part of the soft goods tunic, I mean, it really hugs his hips up here and then bells out just a little bit. I really like the shape of this. And then again, underneath, he's got a great, he's got a great leg sculpt. Really like the boots, how the pants kind of bunch up into the boots. And he even has his little <laughs> funny feet. These little, like, I don't know, mime feet or clown feet. I don't know what they're called. Jester feet, maybe, I guess. So, yeah. Really nice sculpt, really nice clothing, and really nice paint on him. So let's take a look at how big he is. He's pretty tall, too. I mean, he's as tall as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Maybe even taller, I'm saying. Yeah, he's taller than him. He's a, he's a taller, taller figure. I really like that. Okay, articulation. He's got a ball-jointed head, swivel 360, and he looks up and down. He looks up well, down pretty good. Ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, swivel wrists. He's got uh, no articulation in the waist or chest. So, but uh, I'm not really upset about it. He doesn't really need insane articulation. No, he doesn't. He no, he's got a swivel. Sorry. There's some paint stuck in there. I just had to break that off. So yeah, he has a swivel waist. Then he's got swivel hips. So they just go forward and back. No outward movement ball jointed knees and ball jointed feet so they kick down and up like that and they can swivel so the uh, usually I get really angry at, at the swivel hips because I mean we know Hasbro can do ball jointed hips they're just cheap and decide not to do it um, and you know of course I would I would never I would never fight I would never argue if they decided to give this guy ball jointed hips that would be great but I really don't miss them because this guy, I mean, he's not going to, you're not going to need to get him any really dynamic poses. He just really needs to stand there or, you know, walk forward with his hands forward like Mr. Burns, like how he does. But, uh, I mean, just the sculpt and, and the night, uh, and he just, he just looks so good that I do not mind the, the bad hip articulation. All right, so should you get this figure? I'm going to give you a yes. Like I said, this is my favorite figure in the wave. It's really nice. If you don't really like the political figures, I mean characters you might want to pass, but I mean, but I don't really like those those characters either. I've never been excited about them really. But just this guy and that's how good he looks. It he really won me over. They they really outdid themselves on on this figure. And I really appreciate them from, from Hasbro. All right. I'll start I'll I'll get to the rest of the figures I bought from this wave. Soon, if you want to see which ones are coming up, uh, you can check out my Twitter, twitter.com slash mfurious53, or check out the haul video I just posted. All right, hope you found this helpful. Until next time, keep collecting.